So, you want to set up a Hotjar account for your website to track user engagement and heat maps on your website, then yeah, you're in the right place. Tracking what your users do through heat maps and recordings with Hotjar will help you identify weak points of your website for improving, but installing the Hotjar tracking code is the first thing you need to get right. Um, so, in this video, I will show you two ways to uh, verify your Hotjar account to see all of your record recordings, funnels, trends, and heat maps of your website. So, let's dive in. So, the first method to uh, verify your Hotjar account with Google Tag Manager is through the Hotjar tag. Uh, so, the first thing you uh, probably have done is started creating an account. Uh, so I will do that right here with my tracking success account. Click on continue. And then you need to fill in your organization name. In this case, it will be tracking success. And you need to set some other uh, basic, uh, basic settings. And then we need to fill in the URL. In this case, it's tracking success.io. Here we go. Then uh, we can skip this part. Skip this part. And here you will uh, find, after you got it, uh, you need to install the Hotjar tracking code on your website. So uh, as I said, first one, uh, the first method is with the Hotjar tag. So go to your Google Tag Manager account. Then go to your container you have to set up Hotjar with. In this case, it's this my tracking success container. Go to tags. Click on new tag, uh, give the tag a name, like Hotjar tag. Then you will have to search for Hotjar and here you will find the Hotjar tracking code tag. So the first thing you have to fill in is your Hotjar site ID. You can find this by going back to Hotjar and here you will in the right upper corner you will find your site ID. Go back to Google Tag Manager and paste your code right here. Then uh, the trigger is when uh, the Hotjar tracking code has to trigger. So uh, in this case, I want to uh, trigger the Hotjar tracking code on all of my pages because, because I want to track Hotjar off on all of my pages. Then click on save and then click on submit and your tag will be submitted. So the other thing we have to do is find, uh, copy this code and uh, put this into your website of the head of your website. So I'm logged in into my WordPress account. Uh, the next thing we have to do is put this code into the header of your website. And the way I'm doing is this is by using the header for the code manager. Uh, this is a lightweight free to install plugins and it won't hurt your website performance because it's a very small and user friendly uh, plugin. So once you've installed the plugin, go to uh, the header, could have, header for the code manager and click on add new. Then you need to give the snippet a name. In this case, I will use Hotjar. Uh, then we uh, side display has to be side wide. Uh, then the location has to be the header. As, as see right here in the head of your website. Uh, then copy this code. Then go back to the header for the code manager. Paste the code right here and click on save. So once you've saved it, go back to your Hotjar account and click on verify installation, verify installation. Then Hotjar is trying to verify the website and as you can see, your website is verified. So we can also check this in Google Tag Manager in the Google Tag Manager preview mode. Here you can see if the tag is actually fired. So go to preview and fill in your website like here, like this. And then the website will be loading. Go back to Tag Manager. And as you can see, uh, the GFO configuration code is fired and the whole chart tag. And in this case, this is important with the Hotjar D. So uh, you verified it. So it is working. If you don't have a WordPress account or you don't want to add a header code food manager uh, or you just want to do everything in Google Tag Manager, there's also a possible way to do that. Um, so go to Google Tag Manager, um, go to tags and click on new. Uh, give the tag a name like Holcher tag. 
then go to tag configuration and here you need to fill in custom HTML. So um, go back to your dashboard. So uh, you need to add this code to the head of your website normally. And in this case, we uh, add it to the custom HTML tag into Google Tag Manager. So go to your uh, Google Tag Manager account, copy this code and fill it right here uh, with the HTML. Then we need to add the trigger, choose where to activate the Hotjar tag. In this case, I want to uh, track Hotjar all over my website. So I will choose all pages, then click on save. Then you click on submit, click on publish. Then go back to the Hotjar account, then click on verify installation. And as you can see, Hotjar is now verified and you will have to your recording, you're getting heat maps and this probably take a few hours to get some data and uh, then you're set and ready to go. So you can also verify this with the tech assistant, uh, go to back to your WordPress or workspace in Google Tag Manager, like this this was the workspace um, as you can see the hot shirt tag click on preview modus connect your website and here you will see that the hot shirt tag is fired so um, you can also verify your installation in google tag manager so that was the video uh, i've shown you in two ways on how to verify hot shirt uh, in combination with Google Tag Manager. If you find this video useful, hit the thumbs up below the video. This way I can check what videos you all like. This was tracking successful now and I'll see you in the next one.